Hello everybody. In this video, I will show you how to start doing the backend server and how we're going to be communicated, communicating with your application. So as you remember at the beginning, we talk about different architectural applications. And the one thing we're going to do is actually we are going to develop it two different applications. One server, that's the one that we are going to start, and the front end that we already finished in, last, in the last video. So in this, everything was actually possible because Node.js. Node.js, uh, let me actually open over here. Node.js is a JavaScript runtime um, that pretty much what it does is execute JavaScript. In the past, JavaScript only worked on the browser. But through Node.js, we can actually execute JavaScript whatever we want. So when we were creating our view application, the view application actually is built on top of Node.js in order to generate those files. And what I'm talking about is how to render the server, how to create the yarn server, for example, or the build. All those tasks, actually JavaScript tasks, are run in the, in the computer in order to create something. The different here is that view application is pretty much like exported and be able to run in a traditional server the way that we have been deploying the application so far. But now let's actually working with Node.js to do the full server implementation and this pretty much is going to be to connect to a database and retrieve and get information. So if you were with me in, in the course of uh, system analysis and design, you know a little bit how to run JavaScript on the server, but if not, don't worry. Let's actually move along a little quick with that. So let's actually start. So I'm already in the folder. Let me create a new one called Super Awesome API. So we're going to build the API from here. Um, we're going to super on API. And let's open Visual Studio Code. That get open in my other screen. Just give me a minute. There you go. And the super on API is pretty much empty. So we need to start being working with the application itself and we need to do some kind of interaction in there. So in order to create a JavaScript file, let's actually do, actually let's do it through here. Let's click this icon, it's a new file. Let's call this index.js, for example. Let's just close this one. And let me execute the terminal to have it open at the bottom. And I can do a simple console log hello there. A simple JavaScript message command that we are going to execute. So we are ready in the folder, we are ready to save the file. So in order to execute a node application most type node and the name of the file that you are going to be executing. Hello there. And that's it. So this pretty much what it's doing is just giving an output. And we can actually do maths over there. So we can do const x equals 2 const y equals 3 let's say uh, console log x times y and we save it we execute again and we have six so we declare a constant equal to two another one equal to three we multiply those and send it to the console log and that is pretty much executing javascript in our server side this javascript is actually going to be working to us know how to integrate and do in our server. So let's actually create our application itself. 
So let's delete all this. Where I have the index.js file. And we have been working pretty much with a single file. In Vue.js or in the Vue application, we will be installing dependencies to Yarn and we import it to the application. So we need to keep our environment having that. We need to have a no modules folder. We need to have a package JSON that we don't have right now. So let's actually start it. So before continue, I want to create my repo. Let me just call it super awesome API. It's going to be, I will leave it like public. You guys please leave it like private. Of course, you need to add me at the end, but because I will share the code, I will create it as public. And I will not put the initialization. Just create the repo. Perfect. I will, I will copy this line here. And or you can select it and copy, and then we leave it like that for now. Let me go back to application. So we need to create a package JSON. A package JSON is the entry file for a Node.js application. In order to create it, we just do yarn init. And it will prompt us different information. In this case, it's asking me for the name, yes, super as an app API. The version, you click enter. I will leave the default 1.0. Description API for or super awesome app. Enter. Entry point index. Yes, let's leave it like that, like the index GS. So enter. Repository URL. That's why I want to save this. I don't want to paste it. This, this doesn't do much, it's just for documentation purposes. Author, I will put my name. I like to put it in this formal. I put my name there and then in between the less than and greater than I put my email there. So let's put my my email. Click enter. License my team, that's fine for me. And it's not private. Done. So with that, it's actually create a package JSON. And you can see the content is an object with the information that we just specify in in this different question. That's it. So with this, now we can actually create the repository. Let's do a JIT in it to initialize the repo. Let's do a you know what? Let's go a new website. Let's go JIT ignore. And there's one for this one, yet ignore IO. So in this file, what we're going to do is just type, in my case, Mac, you have a Windows type Windows, Visual Studio Code. And Note. Pretty much it's like the technology, the environment, and the editor. We click create, we copy all this, and we execute a new, we create a new file. It's called git dot git ignore, and we paste it. It's a bunch of files that pretty much your repository need to ignore, is what I'm going to say. So we save that. And now we can actually 
brown this. Oh, we need to commit it first. So we need to do the git status. Yeah, we have the tree file turn new. We see here also that we have three files files that are ready to to check the change. So let's actually add it. So git add everything. So our files are getting a stage for changes. So let's actually do git commit initial commit. Done. No changes, so we save the, the state. Now we can do this one. And we can do this one too. So our file is going to be synchronous and our code is being tracked. Perfect, we are there. So we can actually continue. So in order to have a Node.js, we needed the package JSON because we need to install dependencies. Those dependencies will help us to importing and exporting different elements and have it pretty much working in our app. So let's install some dependencies that we will to need. And those dependencies actually are this one. Please type as you can see it here. So we need to jar at dash capital D that means that uh, development dependency we're going to install bubble core install bubble CLI bubble preset EMB bubble node <coughs> and node mode so this is will help us to pretty much run modern JavaScript the same way that we have been working pretty much with the view application is modern JavaScript. In order to have that consistency, we just need to add this dependency. Bubble will help us with that. So we pretty much execute this line and we wait for a couple of minutes. Probably longer depending if the first time that you actually execute it. Perfect. So it's downloaded everything. In my case, it took 10 seconds. You actually could take minutes in there. I already have those in my machine, so that's why they're actually faster. So we can actually look at the package JSON file. And now we have a new area, development dependencies, and are pretty much the one that we just installed. We keep it like that. And we are going to create a new file. It's going to be called bubble rc with a dot to the beginning and in that file we are going to pretty much type this open an object press it and it's an array we have uses the preset for bubble don't worry this is just to make it work it's pretty much and now in the packageation I like to add after license I will click on enter I will create a new object called scripts and then this want to open like a new object and I can actually have a couple of uh, script there let's have only one yeah, actually and let's actually type this of course, I will share the, the source code so you can actually copy and paste this script. This is what, what it's actually doing. is using Nodmon to execute Bubble, modern JavaScript, in our index files that we just created. We just save it. And this will allow us to have, for example, console log again. Hello there. And of course, saving everything, we do a yarn start. And our application is running and executing. 
So we can actually use the star because we just create this star script just doing this. How Vue.js works? Well, Vue.js have several scripts in the package JSON. One of those serve, another is the build, another lean, between others. And actually those are the ones to execute something specific. So now we are able to use yarn start because we created the star script to execute the application. And why through Nodemon? Nodemon will help us keeping track of our code. And can actually add something extra here, for example, if I save it, our application is restarted by default. I just get printed there. So we can do something like this. If I save, it's just getting printed. So it's working as it's supposed to. So perfect. So let's, let me just remove this section. And let's actually create a folder. I like to care for the code source. So index primo is like, you want to be calling information from source. And inside source, I will create a silly function called hello.js. So in the hello.js, we need to create a cons hello equal an empty function that will return a console log saying hello there. So what I'm doing is encapsulating the hello there in a function called hello. So now I can actually say export default hello in our index there we save it you're not doing anything we can now do import hello from source hello so we import that file and we can actually use execute hello as a function and now hello there getting printed print it right let me just check something really quick yeah excellent so let me just close it for now and now we have pretty much our environment ready and working. So let's commit everything. And I already added the changes. Now that are staged, I will add install it, bubble, and configure it. And I just in the case I will click this section in order to sync the changes. The sync the changes will allow me to see my application with the commit and my bubble RC and my index file. Everything is there. Perfect. So let's actually stop here and we continue with the server in the next video.